Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize a billboard to add your own text and images, and then we'll send it to our machines where, that will build it with your new design on it and give it back to you, which you can download and use in any of your projects. So let's get started. I'm on Presenter Media, and if I go up to the search bar, I'm going to type in billboard, which is already in the search. And if I click search, it will um, bring up all the billboards on Presenter Media. And you can tell which ones are customizable by hovering your mouse over it. And then looking down in the bottom right corner, there'll be like a, a wrench and a screwdriver icon. Um, you can also tell because they have text on them, um, most of them. So I'm going to choose this billboard here, which will go to the close up page. And then I need to click customize this item, the green button to load it into our customizer app. And on the right side, you'll see a preview sample, which will show what the original clip art looked like. In the middle here is your design area. You can move text around, uh, images around, delete them out. We can change the text. On the left hand side is your, your menu, your menus. Um, and right now the layout menu is open. So these are just pre-designed layouts I can load in and use on my billboard. And I'm gonna load, yes, load new design. I'm gonna load this uh, road and text here. So I'm gonna change the text to say something different. So I'm just gonna move these elements up in the design area. And then over here where it says quick edit, <clears throat> I'm gonna change uh, your custom to on the road and click out of that so it'll change. Um, I could change the mock-up right here, uh, word inside here, but I can also just double click and change it on the design area as well. So on the road again, there you go. And then if I didn't want that background image, if I wanted to change it to something else, I could go to photos and search inside photos. And then I would just drag and drop that on top of that photo and then move the crop area. And you can see that it changed that photo. Um, I'm gonna leave the road. Now I'm gonna go up to the top menu where it says My Media and Uploads. So in My Media and Uploads, I wanna go to the Uploads option right here. And this is where I can, where I can load in uh, photos that I uploaded uh, by clicking Upload Items right here. Looks like I already have some in here. Uh, looks like I have a picture of my boys. I could drag and drop that like the other um, image I put in. So you can add your own photos and put them in here. I'm gonna just click on this logo here and you can see it just adds it into your design area. And that looks good, but the color can't, doesn't really pop out on that, that um, background. So if I click filters up here in the top menu bar and then go to where it says brightness, turn that up and then go up just a little bit. I'm scrolling up inside the effects menu over here on the right and then I can turn on shadows which will allow my text to stand out a little bit more. There we go. I could make it a little bit darker if I wanted to. Something like that. I could blur the, the shadow a little bit. That looks good. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that. Um, <clears throat> you can always close menus if you want by clicking on these arrows. Um, I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says download format and it's uh, in a PNG format and then I'm going to click the largest size to download and click build and download and let's see just a second while we add your project to the render queue. So now it's sending um, this project over to our machines to start building your new design. Uh, so you can click OK. Um, if I, if I want to save this uh, design here, um, this project, I could go up here and just, um, let's see, we're on it. We'll notify you when it finishes. OK, cool. Um, on the road. I'll just save it at that, like uh, with that name up here, and then just click um, unsaved. Uh, changes so this will this will go away it says I have successfully saved it okay yep so there's no changes made if I move something again you can see that um, unsaved changes will show up <clears throat> um, so that looks good I'm gonna go 
let's see, just to the back to the home page. You'll see up in the, the right corner here, this gear is rotating. <clears throat> That'll just kind of indicate that our machines are building something. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, once that stops and there's a red dot, that means whatever is being built is finished. So I'm going to go to my media and uploads right here. <clears throat> And this is this area, my media and uploads, is where all your customized, your customizable projects um, after you build them will go. And you can download download them or redo them here. And you can see that this item is now finished. Um, I'm gonna click refresh just to make sure everything's good. Yep, it's uh, it's finished, and I can click on this preview. Um, if the preview does not come up. Um, when you click on it, you just have to refresh your browser just by clicking the little refresh button up here. Okay, that looks good and came out um, how it should have. And now I can just um, I can download it from there or I can download it here just by clicking the download button and download it into my computer to use in um, whether it's PowerPoint or Google Slides um, or just any other design projects you're working on and editing software you're using. Um, if something's wrong on this, I can click redo right here and it will open up that project again and I can just make an edit and then go down here where it says downloads, change it to the largest format and click build and download it and it'll send it to my media once again. Okay, um, now that you followed along and can see how to customize this billboard, I think you're set up to start customizing and making your own billboards or just going through the website and finding other customizable designs, um, whether it's clip art animations to, or videos to customize and save out for your projects. All right, thanks for following along. It will see you on the next video. Bye. -bye.